This video will cover creating a new user account in the GRASP portal and give you a quick tour of the portal menu bar. Navigate to gresb.com in your web browser. In the top right-hand corner, click the green login button. Click the link, sign up for GRESB, to sign up for a new account. You will first need to indicate which assessment you will be working with. Enter your email address and a strong password of at least eight characters. If the portal tells you that your email address is already in use, it means you have already been invited by a colleague as a collaborator on an entity. You will have received an automatic email from the GRESB portal. You will need to use the link in this email to set up your new user account, and then follow the rest of the steps in this video. Otherwise, you will then be directed to fill in your profile. Enter the required information and click continue at the bottom of the page. To continue, accept the latest terms and conditions by ticking the box and press Submit. The first page you'll see is the landing page and overview of the reporting entities for which you are a collaborator. As a new user, this page will be blank unless you have already been invited as a collaborator on existing entities. On the right-hand side of your screen, you should see the menu bar. If you don't, Look for a small icon in the top right-hand corner with three horizontal lines. Click on it to expand the menu bar. The first link on the menu bar returns you to this entity overview page. If you indicated your interest in both real estate and infrastructure, you will see links to switch between the two at the top. You will need to accept the terms and conditions for infrastructure as well. The next link is the data exporter, which provides access to all data points in the assessments and allows you to download data sets in CSV and Excel formats. This becomes relevant when results are available for submitted entities. The third link takes you to the GRESB public website. And with the fourth link, you can contact our help desk if you have any questions. At the bottom of the menu bar, under settings, you can manage your user information. The next link allows you to change your password. And underneath it, you can set up two-factor authentication. We recommend that you enable two-factor authentication for increased security. To do this, tick the box and follow the instructions. You will need to download the Google Authenticator app on your mobile device. You'll be asked to scan the QR code on this page, then enter the code that the app generates and press activate. There is also a link here with more detailed instructions on how to set this up. And at the bottom of the menu bar, you'll find the sign out button.